Okay, so where we left off, we were doing friction on a bank curve. We had already gotten our expression for Fn in the y direction, and now we're going to the x direction. So in the x direction, we have Fnx up here, and we have Fr. R, F, F, R, X, both going towards the center of the circle, so both positive, and they're going to be equal to mv squared over r, because that's what the, center, the acceleration is. Fx is, Fy was F cos theta, whoops, that's an n here, sorry. So Fnx should be Fn sine theta. Friction uh, in the x should be F, F, R, it, in the y, it was sine theta. In the x, it should be cos theta, right? It's the adjacent side. Is equal to mv squared over r. Now, friction has an fn in it. So fn sine theta plus mu fn cos theta is equal to mv squared over r. And we have an expression for fn. But before you fill that in down here, make your life easier and factor the fn out. Okay, so pull the fn out and have brackets sine theta plus mu cos theta is equal to mv squared over r. Because now you can fill this in just the one spot. Whereas if you had done it on top, you would need to fill it in two different times and that'll get messy. So taking it up here, Fn is mg over cos theta minus mu sine theta. And on the top with it then will be the sine theta plus mu cos theta. And no, these cannot cancel out because one's a minus and one's a plus, okay? So you cannot, and one has mu sine and the other's mu cos, so you cannot cancel them out, is equal to mv squared over r. You can cancel the m's out, though. And you're trying to solve for mu. So the first step would be bring the cross multiply. So let it become g times r brackets sine theta plus mu cos theta. And that'll be equal to v squared cos theta minus mu sine theta. Okay, so now you have a mu on either side stuck inside the bracket, so multiply through by the bracket, and multiply through and get rid of the bracket, so g sine theta plus mu, sorry, gr, I didn't say the r, but I wrote it down, mu gr cos theta on this side, and then on this side, v squared cos theta minus mu v squared sine theta. Now take both mu's to the same side, so I'd bring this one over and take the terms without mu to the other side. So it's going to be mu g r cos theta, and when you bring that other term over it becomes plus mu v squared sine theta equals v squared cos theta and when I bring this guy over, he becomes minus g r sine theta. You can now pull a mu out here, brackets, g r cos theta plus v squared sine theta. The other side isn't going to change at all. So now multiply by your g r cos theta. Okay, so it'll be mu equals v squared cos theta minus g r sine theta divided by g r cos theta plus v squared sine theta. Okay, and now you're going to fill your numbers in. I'm just going to move this up and bring a sheet of paper in. So it'll be mu is equal to v squared. Now the v is the second v. It's the 22.2 repeating. If you mess up and use the original v, the 11.1, you'll end up getting a mu of zero, because remember the curve was banked for the 11.1. .1. So this is 22.2 repeating meters per second, and remember you have to square that when you punch it in, times the cos of the angle, and while that last video was uploading, I uh, repunched the angle in, because I wondered if I had kept my point ones and I hadn't. So it's really 22.7577, so try not to angle, uh, round that angle too much. Minus g is 9.81 meters per second squared. R is 30 meters. Sine 
of 22.7577 divided by g 9.81 meters per second squared r 30 meters cos of 22.7577 plus 22.2 repeating squared times the sine of 22.7577. Now, punching this in your calculator is going to be the roughest. So maybe punch the whole top in just to be safe to, and then the bottom. Um, so at the top gives you 341.5366, I think, or something like that, meters squared per second squared. The bottom gives you 46... Uh, the bottom gives you 462.418, I think it is, or something along that lines, uh, meters squared per second squared as well. And so when you do the math, you get 0 0.738588 for your coefficient. Okay? So tonight for homework, I'll give you a couple, or for practice, I'll give you a couple little short ones back, like what you did the night before, and then I'll give you one or two of these to just try, okay? Very good.